Hello viewers, welcome back. So in this video, let's concentrate upon what exactly are ciphers. And then towards the end of this video, we're going to learn about what are the various types of ciphers and what is the theory behind all those ciphers. A cipher is nothing but a secret code, usually an algorithm or a mathematical algorithm to convert a simple looking text or a simple looking message into an encrypted format or an encrypted text. Now, what exactly is encryption? Let me uh, give an example. Suppose this is an algorithm. Now I am very much sure you know what exactly is an algorithm. This is an algorithm or this uh, could be termed as a function f. Just for example. Okay. It expects two inputs. The first input is nothing but your message. Or in cryptographic terms, we call it as a plain text. Right. Next step is it expects one more input, which is what we call as a key. So let me explain what exactly is a key. Suppose you are uh, moving out of your house and you want to lock it. You want to protect it. So obviously you need some sort of a lock, either mechanical lock or any sort of numeric lock. So obviously if you want a lock, you should also have the key for it. Yes or no? Just take an example. Suppose you have a kimti cheese that you have to protect and you have a safe. You have a safe that you have to protect सेफ रहेगी बट व्हाट हैपेंस इज आपको उसको प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए की की जरूरत पड़ेगी चाबी की जरूरत पड़ेगी सो व्हाट हैपेंस ओवर हियर दिस लॉक इज नथिंग बट द फंक्शन एंड टू प्रोटेक्ट इट वी नीड सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ की सो सिमिलर टू आवर डायग्राम ओवर हियर द फंक्शन इज नथिंग बट व्हाट वी कॉल एज अ साइफर वंस द इनपुट गोस इनसाइड द साइफर एंड वंस वी प्रोवाइड इट विद अ की द आउटपुट इज नथिंग बट अ साइफर टेक्स्ट I guess I'm making sense. So basically plain text goes inside the cipher. It is encrypted with a key and the output is a cipher text. So in simple terms, if I simplify it more simplify it, so if you have a house of your house, then you can easily come to your house. But if you don't have a house of your house, then you can't go to your house in your house. He will have to break into your house. He will have to break into your He will have to try to break into your house. He will have to try to guess what is the key so what is the significance of this key the key is nothing but the key is actually protecting your plain text because once your plain text goes inside your algorithm function the key protects it from any sort of guessing or any sort of attacks once the output moves outside of this functional block it is what we call as a cipher text i hope this is making sense so uh, Unless you have the key of this lock, you can't break into this cipher or you can't break into this function. This is what we call as a cipher in its simplest form. Fine. So let's move ahead and see what are the various types of classical ciphers. Uh, I'm using the term classical because these are those ciphers which we uh, used a long time back. But these ciphers are not used nowadays because more sophisticated ciphers have replaced these classical ciphers. So let's focus on the types of classical ciphers. Generally, there are two types of uh, these classical ciphers, which are substitution ciphers and transposition ciphers. Now, what exactly is a substitution cipher? Substitution ciphers are those type of ciphers in which we replace one character of the plain text with some other character it can be from within the plain text or it can be somewhere outside the plain text. For example, uh, hello could be replaced as PQRST. So what we are doing, we are simply replacing hello with something like this. So what we are doing, we are changing each and every character one by one. So H is getting replaced by P, E is getting replaced by Q and so on. So this is what we call as a substitution cipher. Now, in the substitution cipher, what can we do with the characters we are replacing? That character can be a plain text of your plain text. Or there is no such new character that is not a plain text of your plain text. That is also quite possible. But whenever we are replacing one character with another character, it is simply called as substitution cipher. Whereas in the case of transposition cipher, I am taking the same example. Let me give it a key. Key of 2, 3, 1, 4, and 5. What it means is, I am simply assigning numeric values to each and every character of the plain text. Just let me zoom it up. 
So now the key is 23145. So what it simply means is whichever character is present at the second location, second location pe jo bhi character present hoga, wo aapke cipher text ka ab pehla character ban jayega. So it simply gets translated to this. Similarly, jo aapke uh, plain text ka third character hai, wo aapke cipher text ka second character ban jayega and so on. So it will be like this. Similarly, aapke plain text ka first character will now become your cipher text ka third character. So it is like this. Fourth and fifth are remaining unchanged. So it becomes something like this. So as a result, what is happening? You are simply changing the positions of the characters from characters which are already present in the plain text. This is the main difference between a substitution cipher and a transposition cipher. I hope I'm making uh, all those concepts clear. Uh, let's move forward and see what are the various types of substitution and transposition ciphers. So, substitution ciphers are further broken down into two types, monoalphabetic ciphers and polyalphabetic ciphers. Similarly, transposition ciphers are broken down into two parts, keyless and keyed transposition ciphers. So, I am not going to uh, focus on all of these ciphers in this video itself. We will be having separate videos for each of these ciphers. For the sake of it, I would like to explain that Caesar cipher was one of the most popular and one of the most uh, primitive sort of ciphers which actually laid the foundation for all of these ciphers. So I hope you got the basic understanding of what exactly is a cipher, what is a plain text, what is a cipher text, what is encryption. The reverse process of getting the plain text back from the cipher text is what we call as decryption. So these are the phrases we have seen. First of all is the plain text, that is the original message. The cipher text, that is nothing but the result of applying the plain text and key to a cipher, that is a cipher text. The process of converting a plain text into a cipher text is what we call as encryption and the reverse process is what we call as decryption. So in the next video, we are going to learn what is Caesar cipher, how to encrypt and decrypt a text using Caesar cipher. So stay tuned, do subscribe to my channel and keep learning.